Hi people and welcome to Morgoth's Media where today I'm going to be cooking some retro soups um, starting off with my favourite onion soup now I don't know if you guys remember these but these certainly take back to my childhood um, I think you had to collect them back in the day from the SO garage now, it's taken me a while to collect all six now thanks to a very good friend of mine thank you I managed to collect all six and we're going to start off with this one today which is the onion soup we've got the uh, mushroom soup we've got chicken soup there's uh, tomato soup uh, oxtail there's a few others as well but yeah, we'll start cooking these today and uh, go through them, hopefully. Let's do this, shall we? Let's go. Okay, so here's the bowl if you want to pause that and get the ingredients off the front of there. So I've got my cloves, my mace, my onions, my uh, butter, my salt, my pepper, the milk, the stock. Anyway, you've got the onions here. These are just on the turn. Okay, I'll start these in the freezer for a couple of minutes just to make them dormant. Just to stop them from making my eyes water. A little trick there for you. Cut them down, use a nice steak serrated knife here so not to uh, slip and cut myself. Safety first. Cut these down, get all the paper crap off them, as you can see. Clear that down. Let's get the uh, dry ingredients. We've got a uh, ounce of flour. Now remember to uh, measure the bowl first so uh, to get the measurement right. As you can see my scales are slightly out by one, so one ounce point one. But as long as we match it up for the butter as well. Shouldn't be a problem, so 2.2 butter. Got the mace, couldn't find blades, we used the powder stuff. One clove there, we've got the pepper. The salt, not too much salt. Got salt in the butter, remember. A quarter of the milk. Tear these up, bruise them up, rip them up. Don't know if you're supposed to blend them, but this is how I'm going to do it. Rustic. Tip your milk on. Tip in your powdered ingredients, all your dry stuff. Now we've got our bay leaf in there. Got our stock. Give that a little mix up. Tip that on. Look at that butter melting. Mix that round. Nice and glossy. Look at that. And the butter's melting. You've got the flour cooking down as well. Stick it in this little prevention. Instant pot. Best thing since fire in the wheel in my opinion. Two hours if not, use a slow cooker. You can see you've got all the fat from the butter on top there, lovely gorgeous, get that in the bowl. Look at them onions, got all translucent and juicy. we will pick that bay leaf out in a minute, don't eat that, whatever you do. Look at that. There you go people, the retro onion soup. Let's see what it's all about, shall we? Mmm, it's nice, it's creamy. Obviously onion there, you've got onion in it. Uh, you can taste the mace. Like a warm like a warm taste, like a gingery taste. Nice. Um the flour in it uh, is cooked out obviously, but that makes it thicker, obviously. Uh if I was to cook it again, I'd cook it with probably potatoes and take the flour out. Um but sticking to the recipe, it's close as I possibly could. Yeah, it's nice. It's a good way of getting rid of the old onions to be fair. Um a little bit of garlic in it, even a bit better. Really nice. I'd definitely try that again.